Good evening, sports fans. My name is Crowbat for the win, owner of the Los Angeles Nintendo Kings, here today with Season 5, Week 3 of the NPL. And this week is a highly anticipated match against Trev the King of the Atlanta Braviaries. I've been hyped for it for so long, I'm hoping it'll be a good match. We'll see what happens, of course. But I want to give a huge shout out to PetSmart Charities, my charity this week for my charity spotlight. Uh, you might think, why would PetSmart have a charity? Well, they help find pets, they give them temporary shelter, they try to find people who will take dogs and cats and all kinds of pets in, and they have five stars on char or four stars rather on Charity Navigator, four out of four. Uh, they're an excellent organization whom I've worked with, and I will certainly be making a contribution this week. And on that note, let's jump into the match, because it's just about to start. As you can see, actually you can't see it, because I did not make the team preview long enough, but that's okay. He leads with Sharpedo, which is actually kind of scary, because it has speed boost. But that was why I led with Gramble, because I just had to. I led with my good friend, Dallas Boy, 1992, who has made great use of Gramble in the past. So this is a shout out to him. He's awesome. Anyways, he goes out into Gore, guys. I s just go for the Earthquake, because I feel like if there was a chance he went into Excadrill, to, you know, to be offensive, to be ahead of me, I could catch him off guard. But it didn't work out that well. Not the end of the world. It's, I still have a fantastic, fantastic matchup against this Gorgeist with this Volcanion. And I know for a fact I get a free switch in on it every single time. It's the easiest thing in the world. Uh, just, just, just call 1-800-EASY-SWITCH and you will get your Volcanion in the mail today. I go for the Steam Eruption as that Latio switches in. It does a massive amount of damage. Massive amount for a resisted hit. That was great. Really happy with that damage, actually. I just wish I got the burn. I still have yet to get a burn with Steam Eruption, by the way. Where is Karma? Where? Where is Karma in San Diego, too? I, I still can't find her, but I'm just looking for Karma at this point. I switch into my Assault Vest Kangscom, which has lots of bulk. It is actually meant to take on Manaphy really well. It basically gets three, four hit KO'd by Surf, so I know it is a fantastic check. Plus the Fake Out, plus Sucker Punch, plus Double Edge. It just destroys Manaphy. I know it will. It, it, of course it will. Here's the fake out. You're gonna think, why did it hit a ghost type? Because I got scrappy. And it did a okay amount for a fake out, I guess. Now he goes for the foul play. That's fine. I go into Volcanion. Volcanion tanks that easily. I have the leftovers. I love this Volcanion. It's, it's doing pretty well, I think, so far. It's my easy switch into the Gorgeist. He now goes into the Latios, which, Mega Latios rather, which is fine. I steam eruption. I hope for the burn this time. And we finally got Karma! I still haven't found Karma in San Diego, but I found Karma! There it is. There's my burn, which makes that Latios' time switching in a lot more difficult. Pretty happy with that. He switches out, which I'm okay with, I suppose. Goes into Entei. That's fine, actually, because, as you are about to see, after that pressure activates, I am going to switch on out of there and go into Fog, which is Kangaskhan. I'm just going to get a free and easy fake out off. There's no reason not to because that thing obviously can be flinched. Free damage. That thing has also no recovery, by the way. So it's damage. It will not get back. Now I go into Grand Bell so I can get the Intimidate. Also, if I get burned with Sacred Fire, I have Heal Bell. So it works out really well for me, actually. That does still a pretty decent amount of damage. You could tell for sure that's Life Orb. You saw the Life Orb anyways, but just looking at the damage, it was a lot. Mta is pretty powerful, for sure. Now he goes for the Eruption, which kind of caught me off guard. Wow. I like the set, Trev. Very interesting. Thank goodness I already had some previous damage on it, because if I did not, that would not have ended very well. I probably would have been KO'd right there. Because Grand Bull's special defense, without investment and without an Assault Vest, is not that great. Or well, it's, it's, yeah, really not that good. But that's okay. It, it got the Intimidate off, and it, it did some damage right there with the Thunder Wave that I just got off. Now I'll go into Volcanion as I, he switches out into Excadrill. Eh, I'm not crazy about that, but I, I know that I gotta make a move here. I gotta do something, because I can't let this extra drill set up. You know, I can't I can't let anything happen here, so I'm just gonna go into Grand Bull, probably as Death Fodder, but we'll see what happens. You know, I, I just I'm playing it by ear. Here's a substitute, okay. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world if I play my cards right. I kinda actually hope he sets up a Swords Dance, because that means I can break the sub for free. And I can go into Cobalion or go into really anything to just break it, anything that outspeeds, which would I think be Cobalion in this team. I'd have to double check, but it's really irrelevant. We're gonna see anyways. 
I go for the Earthquake, which is going to easily break the sub. I think this game is going pretty well, though. I'm getting good offensive pressure on him. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I, I, I think I am. I know I still have that, that threatening Manaphy, but with my Kangaskhan at really high health, with Fake Out, with Sucker Punch, with Double Edge, I'm liking my chances in this match. Okay, Grand Bull just went down, sure, but it's really not a big deal because this Exit Drill is not that threatening. I go easily, easily into Cobalion here. I go into Toge. Uh, shout out to Toge. Now I switch out. This is the one misplay of the game I think I made. I really thought he was going to switch here, so I went into Haxorus. Unfortunately, he just stays in and goes for the Earthquake. I, I figured as my backup plan, I knew this thing would live if I mispredicted, which that was a gutsy play right there. I would not have done that. But I know I would KO with Earthquake anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal at the end of the day. Kind of wish I still had full health in this thing, but oh well, it is what it is. I'm going to go and switch into Kangaskhan as that Manaphy is in. Now, I know he's going to go for the Ice Beam. He better not freeze my Kangaskhan or else I lose this game. I literally lose this game. I lose the game if I get frozen, right? But <laughs> The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Thanks, Coach. Uh, My name is Joy Ash, and we adopted Spot. He's very lovable. There's so many dogs that, you know, they just roam and are loose, needing homes. That's where I come in. We just want to give them a home. 